Testing, mic check, one, two. All right, I think we're good. What the heck is going on? <clears throat> What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Can y'all hear me? I've got some issues going on with my computer. Can y'all hear me? Hmm. I think something is going on with my computer because I don't know why the audio, the music is not playing. I can hear the music, but you guys can't hear it. Um, I don't know what's going on. Um, I tried to see if I could fix the, um, the audio, but I don't know, man. I don't know. It's always something. Um, let me see. Yeah, I don't know exactly what's going on with the audio. I can hear it, but you guys can't hear it through the stream. I don't know. Y'all can hear me. Y'all can hear my voice and everything. I guess no music. I don't know what else to do. Um... It's something because this, I think I updated my drivers, like my, my graphics card drivers and I, well, it didn't tell me to restart the computer. I know I should restart the computer, but maybe that's what it is. And then the audio, um, the audio output that goes out through you guys, uh, somehow gets glitched out or something like that, because I figured the music was actually playing and you guys were saying that y'all wasn't hearing, um, you know, the music and everything like that. So I think that's what it is. I'm just going to have to restart the computer when I'm done working because this is very annoying. Like I'm not understanding why this is the freaking case right now. Like this, this doesn't make any sense. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, make sure you guys give us a thumbs up. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed your Christmas and everything like that, um, spend time with family and everything. That is wonderful. That's great. Um, oh man, I had a great time. <laughs> I had a really, really great time. Okay. Hold on. Wait, I think I can hear myself. Yeah, I can hear myself. I had a great time <laughs> for Christmas, the time off and everything like that. Got some gifts and all of that, you know, kick back, ate some food. Oh man, it was it was pretty late. Oh, dang it. I didn't take my vitamins. <laughs> I didn't take my vitamins. Um, yeah, so it was great. It was great. I had a great time. So definitely going to be talking about that. <laughs> um. Okay. So this is something I got for Christmas as well. My hat. And I also got this... Um this heat change mug. So basically you put like anything hot in it and it changes. So you can see when it's hot, you see a different layout, which is dope, right? So you see the triangle and the circle and the PS 
at the at the at the bottom. And then when it's cold, you see everything. You see the the triangle, square, X, circle. It's it's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. So yeah, your boy got boy got hooked up with a nice little mug and everything. Next time I'm gonna wash it. I haven't opened it up yet. And I got my Deadpool hat, and I got some more stuff as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed your Christmas and everything like that. I'm telling y'all, man. <laughs> It's been crazy. It's been a ride. Um, so how's you guys Christmas, man? How is everything going for you guys so far? Everything's been dope. Everything's been dope for you guys. What did y'all get? I see some, a lot of people have received PS5s <clears throat> for Christmas and everything like that. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my voice right now. <laughs> I don't know what's going <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my voice. um so what did y'all get for christmas man we gotta address y'all what did, what did y'all get for christmas man what did you guys get what do you guys i know some of y'all don't celebrate christmas but what did y'all get what did y'all get <clears throat> come on man look hit me with i didn't shoot oh yeah 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 d i got that man i got that i got that if you check the description i got that bro don't worry, I got that covered, man. What did y'all get for Christmas? Man, y'all heard what I said, man. I said, what did y'all get for Christmas? <laughs> wow, right? <laughs> bro, what kind of... Bro, what the heck? What the heck is going on? Yo, I'm going to do like I didn't even see that. I'm going to do like I didn't even see what you just said, bro. Some of y'all nasty, bro. Oh, you got a Lamborghini? You got $200? Um, See, Hendo, what's going on, bro? um socks and hugs okay hey at least you got something deodorants and shower gel hey 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 look gotta stay fresh hygiene is first ps5 sweater did anybody that didn't get a ps5 get one that's that's the most important did anybody that don't have a ps5 end up getting one for christmas i think that was just kind of legendary to see a lot of people out on reddit you know what i'm saying got ps5s and everything like that um Let's see it. Nope. No PS5. Um, got to rock. Hey, C. Hendo, what's up? G2G Bills. What's up? Nobody got anything. No PS5s for Christmas? Oh, man. Come on, man. Nah, I'm waiting. Oh, my God, bro. Um, It says uh, my Christmas gift. Oh, my God. So some of y'all don't even. I'm thinking y'all had a ball, man. I'm thinking y'all had a ball. <laughs> Sean Forbes, what's going on? It says, I got mine on release day. Okay. So some of y'all didn't even get any freaking thing at all, which is crazy, man. Because I figured, I figured, you know, I was sitting here saying to myself, like, a lot of y'all was going to get something. You know what I'm saying? Like, get a PS5 or, you know, whatever the case may be. I, that's what I was thinking through my head and stuff. But for me personally, it was dope, man. I just saw the kids. They open up everything. And, you know, really, as you get older, man, it's really about the kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not really for grown folks. You know, it's 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 really um, <clears throat> it's really, really about them, per se. Um, and it's just one of those situations where it's kind of like, yeah, this is the reality. This is what we're dealing with right now. And that's just what it is. So you got three shirts. You bought your own gift. Okay. Okay. I says, I got a few PS4 games on the PS Store. Life out loud. Last of Us 2, D for Speed Heat, uh, The Last Plants vs. Zombies. Okay. 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 Just checking with everybody before we start off the show. I just want to be polite um he says we grow exactly 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 you gotta buy your own ps5 hey hey Kenneth, you already know joe what's going on hey joe i got your number man i'm gonna hit you up bro i'm gonna hit you up joe um what's going on joe it says i got a ps5 sweater hey man let's go bro y'all got something y'all got something um oh lord sick it's always something going on bro just stay positive. Crazy. What's going on, man? Says get hype, son. Get hype. Yeah, my computer's been acting up, so I'm gonna have to um, restart it later. Hopefully that fixed the problem. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Nothing on Metal Gear yet. 
Ronald, what's going on, bro? Let me say what's up to everybody, dog. And let's go. We got we got some stuff that we got to cover. Get hype because 2021 is going to be the year, man. I'm telling you, man, we just got to have faith moving off into 2021. You know, we got to put all that negativity to the side and we just got to stay positive as much as we possibly can because, you know, this year has been a very, very interesting year for a lot of people. Um, some good, some bad. And it's been good for video games in some portion. I mean, we got the PS5. We got the Series X. Uh, regardless, we know the Series X don't have any games. But at the same time, there's a few things here and there and everything like that. And then, you know, of course, during Christmas. And then Target had a drop last night. I don't know if a lot of people know about this, but Target had a drop. And Target, I think they they dropped at between three to seven, apparently. And so a lot of you guys didn't even know about it. And I was freaking tired. I, I, I couldn't get to stream yesterday or anything like that. I was so freaking tired after Christmas, um, you know, just working and working around the house and, you know, family matters and all of that type of stuff. Um, but yeah, so I know a lot of you guys still don't have PS5s. I'm working on a giveaway supposedly for January. We'll see how things go, but a giveaway is supposed to be happening on January, in January or something, uh, somewhere in there uh, for, for PS5 and Series X, but we'll see on that front. So for people who didn't get a chance to get a PS5, I'm actually working on something for you guys as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it for Christmas, man. I got it for Christmas. So it's been it's been lit, man. It's been lit. Um, but do me a favor, guys. Make sure you guys hit the share button. Make sure you guys put us out on Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, all of that. You guys know how we get now, man. So tag me at Marlin Gaming Nation, and we are going to dig right off into the show. Okay. So hopefully y'all had a great time. Some of y'all seem to have a great time um, for Christmas and everything like that. So. I know some of you guys went out of town and spend time with family and all of that type of stuff. So that's great, man. That's great. We out here. We out here. Make sure you retweet the stream if you are following us out on Twitter. It definitely does help out um, a lot. Okay. All right. So tag me at Marlin Gaming Nation so that we could go ahead and get the ball rolling. Make sure you guys thumbs up the show. I appreciate y'all. All right, you, you can't wait for the KFC console. I know, bro, I know. Oh, nice chair. Actually, this chair, man, is on its way out, bro, because it's actually hurting my back, and I'm too big for the chair. When I actually ordered the chair, I didn't look at the 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 dimensions, you know what I'm saying, for my height. I'm, like, borderline 6'7". So, yeah, I'm too big for this chair, so I have something else special. Because of COVID and all, it's taking its precious time, so it's on the way here. Um uh so what's going on yeah so tag me at bar giving nation so we can get the shout outs out the way so we can get right off into the news man we out here we hey we trying to be strong for 2021 okay um so jack what's going on man how you doing say what's up tag me at marlin so we can get right off into the news we do have a lot of stuff to talk about i mean we have a lot of stuff to talk about okay um kevin says can you sell me your chair uh, message me oh boy somebody want my chair all right let's see here g2g what's up how you doing let's see you say what's up to everybody and we can dive right off into the news skip how you feeling um what type of chair um stream lab not stream lab did i say stream lab secret lab yeah secret lab chair titan xl um <clears throat> let's see here let's see here let me say what's up to everybody what's up tasty what's going on appreciate the love and the support Ray, what's going on? Appreciate the love and the support, man. We out here. Thank you guys so much for retweeting the stream. I can see it on my wrist. I can see it on my wrist when y'all retweet. Um, Jeff, what's going on? Um, Luchi Sky, what's going on? Uh, let's see here. We got Goat. We got Lou. We got Surgeon. We uh, let's see what we got. Brian, what's going on, man? Um, uh, Richard, hey, I got something special for that KFC console, bro. Like no cap. Um. TJ, what's going on? Uh, Phil, what's going on? Jabbar, what's going on? Get hype, man. Odd Wado, what's going on? Uh, Sicko, G2G. Uh, we got SWE. We got Kevin. We got Pro Gaming. What's going on? Um, they say auction the chair. Max, what's up, man? K Jabbar, what's up, man? How you doing? Uh, Spiros, 
what's going on um phoenix what's going on hey lou Weezy, what's going on we out here brian kelly uh the texas base uh let's see who else we got who else we got who else we got uh zap what's up man how you doing bro uh chrono what's up man uh jamar what's going on crazy what's going on matthew oc reed what's good we out here chef what's good bro i haven't seen you in a while how you doing some of y'all been mia but we out here we out here shout out to the sponsors man we got a giveaway for y'all next month we got a giveaway for y'all next month um dos malo what's going on hola como estas bien gracias um don what's going on john doe hey hey we out here we out here sing sing let's go jose let's go adam let's go mike let's go jet let's go we out here man we out here let's go bro we oh <laughs> let's go man let's go um hey oh yeah i love i love spanish man love freaking spanish um handy what's going on bro fox what's up fox in the house star what's good anthony moon let's go man we out here uh we paranoid son hey man we out here bro uh please do not start the donor wars bro do do not start the donor wars we ain't out here switch beatbox what's going on man we out here son let's go we out here look thank y'all for retweeting the stream man um tosami what's going on he says yeah that's your native language let's go man we out here get hype get excited we out here man uh peter what's up man how you doing sir king oz royal gaming how you doing get hype get excited man uh what, what's this gbg what's up man how you doing it says youtube again without the notification look i'm gonna tell y'all this right now i'm gonna try to be here every single day monday through saturday sometimes i'll take sunday off depending on what's going on right sometimes no day off sometimes i gotta work seven days a week make sure you guys are here two o'clock every single day for people who make sure you have the notification bell on all, but I'm just saying, I see a lot of you guys saying that YouTube is not sending out notification. Make sure that you're here two o'clock every single day, two o'clock Eastern time. Okay. I'm going to try to make it a point of duty that I'll be here at two o'clock every single day. You know what I'm saying? Except for Sunday, depending on bleeding over into 2021, I might have to work seven days a week. I'm just saying because we we, 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 we have a big push. We have, we have something big. Yeah. So two EST. 2 EST. So make sure you mark your calendars. Um, 2, S, uh, 2, 2 EST. <laughs> I'm going over myself right now. But 2 A, 2. <laughs> Can I talk? 2 EST. Can y'all hear me? Is the uh, Somebody said the audio is actually going in and out. Uh, it says, I got your notification bell off and YouTube still sends me notification. Oh, wow. Make sure you guys have the notification bell on because I know a lot of people want to get notified and they didn't get notified at all you know what i'm saying but make sure you're here 2 p.m est every day make sure you're hovering around my channel around that time all right so by say 150 i'll already have a um the countdown started for the 10 minutes and everything like that okay so make sure make sure make sure all right all right are you guys ready are you guys are you guys ready man Whew. Yo, I get excited when we get we we got news to talk about, bro. I get excited, I get hype when we got news and information to literally go over because this is this is very interesting, man, and it just goes to show you that some companies are pretty bold when it comes to doing certain things in the industry. And like I said before, as long as you're going to be covering yourself and you're not going to get in any lawsuits or any copyright infringement or anything like that. Uh, you know, it's that's just one of those different things uh, that you kind of have to look into. And so with that being said, we do have PS5 faceplates announced. OK, and obviously we're still waiting on Sony. We know Sony is actually going to be 
uh, dropping this. This is going to happen. We already know Sony's going to drop custom face plates and everything. They're taking their married time until next year, which is understandable because of uh, supply constraints and everything else that's actually going on in the world right now. But we have another company, not the PlayStation 5, but we got a company called D Brand just officially came out and said that no, for 2021, they are going to be one of the lead in companies uh, to offer PlayStation 5 face plates. And they literally took a shot at Sony. Like, boy, man, if I would have went against my dad, just I'm just using an example here. Like, boy, look here. Look, don't go against the big boys. Don't go against the big boss. Don't go against the big boys. Because look, if you if you know within yourself that you're legitimately okay and you're not infringing on any copyright, because Sony don't play around. So they they so they literally call out Sony on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and this was over on Reddit, um, where they actually made the big bold statement. So let's go ahead and bleed over into this. They said, Sue us, Sony. They're like, look, look, they're like, look, go ahead and sue us. We dare you, Sony. We dare you go ahead and sue us. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. So you're going to, you're going to officially announce faceplate for the PS5. And then you're going to take shots at Sony and say, go ahead and sue us. We're not PlayStation 5. Go ahead and sue it. Look, man, look, like I said, as long as you're behind is not and it's not just sony they took a shot at they took a shot at cd project red okay hey trail the dragon getting the fire started with the five dollar thank you so much i appreciate that welcome aboard on the board that makes you the top stream donator so far with that five dollar donation let's go i know my audio is not working but get hype man but listen to this so they're going to take a shot at sony and say oh yeah go ahead and sue us now here is the interesting part that i wanted to share about cd project red and you know it everybody got to learn from cd projects red's mistake okay it says that we're entering mass production on the ps5 face plates by years and however we won't be accepting orders until we have stock at our toronto hq ready to ship if cd project red has taught us anything it's not selling products before they're finished is a bad idea so this is something that i'm telling you guys this is something i'm telling you guys right now like look man everybody can learn something from cd project red Okay, we, we, we have another lawsuit that we're covering right now. And I know everybody's like, oh, why is he covering more lawsuits again? Because there's more lawsuits that's brewing up right now for CD Projekt Red. And they just can't seem to, bro, they can't even seem to catch a break. You see what I'm saying? And now D Brand is like, look, Sony can try to sue us all they want, but we're going to be fine. You see what I'm saying? We're, we're in it to win it. We're coming out with uh, official faceplates for the PlayStation 5. Um, we're not going to rush this product like CD Projekt Red did. You know what I'm saying? They're taking shots. But I feel like the one towards CD Projekt Red is a legitimate way. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know MKHB is doing something. It, it's a legitimate way. You know what I'm saying? To really, really go about it. But you know Sony is going to have their official face plates next year. You already know that Sony is going to be making bank off of those uh, face plates and everything like that. Because I felt like where uh, PlayStation 5 went wrong is that they had a copyrighted um, name. They had a copyrighted name inside of their name. You know what I'm saying? And you already know how that goes. Anything that's copyrighted, you need to stay away from it. Period. So we'll see. We'll see on how uh, D Brand is going to uh, crank out these uh, face plates for the, the PlayStation 5. They're saying that right now, whenever they're ready to um, ship them out, they'll ship them out, but they just got to make sure um, that everything is set in stone as far as the face plates go. So everything right now is in deep production. So we'll see. We'll see. I know some of you guys 
um, I've already customized your PS5. Some of you guys spray painted your PS5. Some of you guys have different colors and things like that on your PlayStation 5. And so we'll see um, what they're going to come up with uh, for next year. All right. So let's go ahead here, guys. And let's talk about the PlayStation 5. Sl no, no. Yeah, the PS5 Slim. Let's talk about that PS5 Slim. Okay. And this is a topic that I know... I hear a lot of people, even in retail, you know, like there's, there's, there's a lot of stuff around this PS5 Slim situation, and I really want to talk about it, really want to give my insight on it, because this is definitely very, very interesting to say the least, and I think a lot of people are going to uh, be interested on this whole thing, okay? So, obviously, with the whole PS5 Slim situation... We don't have an official announcement. We don't know when it's going to come. We know it's going to come. And here's the thing. There's a lot of people right now based off of surveys from retailers, based off of just general consumers in general on buying new hardware and things like that. Especially some people don't like bigger systems. Like when it comes to, um, the, for instance, the size of the PS5, a lot of people like, I'm not buying that. That's too big. You see what I'm saying? That's way too big. You see what I'm saying? The PS3 was huge. And this thing is bigger than the freaking PS3. And so there's a lot of gamers right now that's saying that they're going to hold off on buying a PS5, believe it or not, because of the size. And so that makes the PS5 Slim one of the most wanted piece of technology, which is not even out yet. And so I think that the PS5 Slim is probably going to sell more than the base PS5, depending on how soon they actually come out with it, because there's a lot of people right now that I've asked personally, and they're like, no, I'm not buying, I'm, I'm going to keep my PS4, considering that Sony is going to be cranking out games for PS4 for the next two to three years. Remember, it's not going to be a smooth transition over into PS5, at least for the next two or three years, because not all of those hundred and something million gamers that have a ps4 is going to come over to ps5 right away it's going to take them a little bit of time and so i think the sweet spot moving forward would be in year three i think year three the ps4 is probably going to be completely phased out there's probably not going to be a whole lot of triple a stuff and then by then hopefully by maybe the second year of the ps5 they might come out with a ps5 slim but i'm telling you right now that ps5 slim is going to sell like crazy. I think their sales are going to skyrocket. Their stocks are going to go up. Investors are going to be happy because the size is going to be significantly smaller than the PS5 right now, than the base PS5. And size is a factor for a lot of people. Me personally, as a content creator, like I don't necessarily care about size. You see what I'm saying? All I want to know is the games are available that I want to play you know what I'm saying? And the system is working fine. But for a lot of consumers, size is a thing. And if history does not taught you anything, look at the PS4 Slim. You know what I'm saying? The PS4 Slim sold wonderful. It did great for Sony. You see what I'm saying? That's why every generation, look at the PS3. We got a Slim. Look at the PS1, stemming all the way back from the PS1. Like a lot of people like small things. Some people don't like big things. Not a lot of people. And so some people I've, I've heard that, oh, the PS5 is just too big. It can't fit in my entertainment center. You know, I'm just going to wait. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's a win-win situation for Sony when you actually look at it because it's like, okay, yeah, these people that have PS4s right now, they're not really missing out on a whole lot of stuff as of right now. Because when you look at 2021, when it comes to the games and everything, like, think about it. Think about it, okay? Like, okay, Horizon Forbidden West, that's PS4. God of War Ragnarok might still be PS4. You see what I'm saying? Like, so year one alone, you got some heavy hitters for PS4. So there's really no need for Sony to come out year one with a PS5 Slim. So year two, that's when you're going to get a PS5 Slim. You see what I'm saying? That, that makes more logical sense in year two to announce a PS5 Slim. And I'm telling you, it's going to sell like crazy because what's going to happen is you're going to have the consumer base that literally has been waiting on a Slim version, right? 
they're going to jump on it. Then you're going to have people that um, don't like the size of the PS5 now that have PS4s that's going to be converting over. You see what I'm saying? So there you go. Now you have literally double the sales, you know, potentially. So PS4 is going to still be relevant all the way up until maybe another three years from now, max three years. So Sony don't need to rush out a PS5 Slim right now, but I'm just telling you, there's a lot of people, one of the main reasons why they're holding out, not because of the games, but because, hey, I want a smaller PS5 and they know it's gonna come. We know what these companies are capable of. We know that there's gonna be a pro version. We know that there's going to be a slim version. We know it's happening. Even though, how many times Sony said that they're not gonna do something and they end up doing it anyway? Come on, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. How many times Sony said, oh, we're not gonna be making this, but it ended up happening anyway. That's what these companies do. You see what I'm saying? This is what these companies do. That's printing money for them. A PS5 Slim, it just makes sense. On paper, it makes sense. Logically, it makes sense because the system is freaking huge. You see what I'm saying? So all I'm saying is that's going to be a win-win situation for Sony, you know, trimming down the PS5. Um, and we know that the PS5 right now, the disk drive PS5 is $500. So they can sell it for, I don't know maybe $3.99 or something like that. Who knows what's going to happen, but I'm just saying this is going to be a win-win for a lot of PlayStation fans that are literally holding out. Because remember right now, you're getting your money's worth out of your PS4 for another three years. You see what I'm saying? With AAA games, with, with AA games, you're going you're gonna to get your money's worth. So you don't necessarily have to jump on a PS5 right now. If you don't care about the dual sense, um, you know, some people say it's a gimmick. You know, so a lot of consumers say, oh, that's gimmicky, gimmicky trickery. Okay. All right. You don't like the haptics. You don't like, you know, the really, really cool features of the dual sense. Oh, I don't care about 4K. You know what I'm saying? Well, keep your PS4. You see what I'm saying? Oh, I played Miles Morales already. Okay, that's great. Oh, I played Sackboy. You see what I'm saying? So you, generally speaking, you don't necessarily have to have a PlayStation 5 right now. You don't even have to have one next year if you don't want to. You see what I'm saying? So I think the sales for Sony is going to really start spiking up even more. Not just year one, but year two is going to be insane. Because now you're going to introduce another small variant of the system. So, like I said, I love my PS5. Look, big or small, it don't matter to me. As long as it's running right, as long as I'm enjoying these games on how they were designed to play on the PlayStation 5, that's all that matters to me. But I know as soon as Sony drops a slim PS5, I'm going to be all over it. I'm just going to keep it a buck with you guys. I'm going to be all over it like water on rice. Um, so, trust me. Just like the PS4 Slim, whenever it gets closer and closer, at, I'm still on the press list for Sony. So hey, we, I might get I might get the images before a lot of people get the images and everything like that. So I'll keep you guys in the loop of things once they officially send it out to press. I'll be able to see it and you know be able to talk about it in more detail once everybody um, in the press has received it and everything like that. But I'm telling you, it's coming. And for a lot of people, get hype, all right? So now let's go ahead and uh, bleed over into our next topic here. Um, this one is definitely very, very interesting. And we have to talk about this KFC console. And I know I've talked about the KFC console before, and I've seen a lot of people saying a bunch of crazy stuff. And I was sitting here and saying to myself, I'm like, okay, we got we got to dig into this. We literally have to talk about this because this is a very very interesting topic here. And so the PS5 versus, uh, wait, let me, let me change that. PS5 uh, versus the KFC console. And I see a lot of people say that Sony needs to be worried. You know because yeah you have a chicken warmer. L okay, listen, listen. I don't care about a chicken warmer. I don't personally, I don't know about y'all, but Sony don't need to be worried, you know what I'm saying, about a KFC console. Yes, it can do 4K at 100, well, no, no, 4K, 240 FPS. Not a lot of games is going to take advantage of 4K at 240 FPS. 
Sony does not need to be worried. I see a lot of people in the PlayStation community and just in general, Sony need to be worried. You know, Sony don't need to fear. It comes down to the games. Now, I think the only way that Sony needs to worry is if the KFC console just somehow miraculously have killer first party titles. You see what I'm saying? But Sony don't need to be worried about a chicken warmer. Why the heck should they be worried about warming up some freaking pot of grease? I mean, what, I mean, seriously, because fried chicken is freaking grease. Don't believe me? Go to go to KFC, go to Popeyes, order some fried chicken, right? Get you a, a napkin and squeeze, squeeze, just squeeze the chicken. Whether it's a drumstick, whether it's a wing, whether it's a chicken breast, just squeeze the chicken. Squeeze it, okay? In that napkin and see how much freaking grease comes out on that freaking napkin you see what i'm saying heart attack getting ready to happen so who cares about a chicken freaking warmer i don't care about that yes that's a luxury i've seen some people saying well maybe sony needs to go ahead and invent something like that no the heck they don't they don't have to do that they don't need to invent some freaking chicken warmer for it to sell ps5 is selling because of the games that kfc console is gonna sell because kfc it's kfc and they sell fried chicken a lot of people love fried chicken some people might want the freaking chicken warmer you're gonna eat fried chicken every time you play you're gonna have all sorts of grease all sorts of freaking grease all over your freaking controller so you tell me how is that this is just um the best thing since sliced bread no it's not that's cool. It's a cool concept, but Sony don't need to worry about having a chicken warmer. Ask some of you guys right now, would you want a chicken warmer in your freaking PS5? No. You're going to say, heck no, I don't care about no freaking chicken warmer. Look, man, if I want to warm up a piece of chicken, I get up off my laser behind, go in the kitchen, warm it, warm it up in the freaking microwave. I don't need my gaming console. Now, yes, it's cool and it's a luxury and it's a plus for a lot of people, but heck no. Ask some of y'all right now. Would y'all want the PS5 to have a chicken warmer? Some of y'all gonna be trolling and saying, yes, you don't mind having a chicken warmer. So let me ask y'all this. Would y'all want grease on y'all DualSense controller? Would y'all want grease on y'all DualSense? A lot of y'all gonna be like, heck no, I can't get grease on my DualSense. That controller is $70. You gotta understand that that KFC console Listen to me, man. Listen to me. That KFC console is a PC. It's basically a PC. A lot of y'all are not into PC gaming. Some of y'all is, but not a lot of y'all are into that. But this is basically a PC console. Basically, all, all the consoles are basically PCs. But I'm just saying, like, Sony don't need to be worried about KFC and their fried chicken warmer console. I mean, this just keep it a buck. It comes down to the games. Does the KFC console have all those catalog of first party games for 2021? You see, you see the heavy hitters, God of War. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not knocking the KFC console and I'm not saying that it can't blow Sony and Microsoft out the water, but it's going to take some research and time. You see what I'm saying? But Sony don't need to be worried right now. Sony don't need to panic right now because they don't have a chicken warmer. Um, <laughs> uh, James with the $2 says Marlin KFC or Popeyes and original or extra crispy. Honestly, I don't know. I might probably have to go with Popeyes because Popeyes, they chicken just taste. They got better batter. Uh, the chicken just tastes better. In my opinion, when, when I was a kid, I really, really enjoyed KFC. KFC kind of fall off the bandwagon for me. And that's one of the main reasons why is like this. Who are you going to market this console for? I just want to know, yeah, yeah, you're targeting gamers with this, but are you guys really going to buy this KFC console? And let me tell y'all this right now. It is not going to be cheap. So if some of y'all thinking that y'all going to be, you know what I'm saying? This is a win-win situation. Some of y'all probably ain't going to be able to afford this freaking KFC console. So in order for you to compete 
you see what I'm saying? In the console space, price is a very important factor. You see what I'm saying? So how is it that they're going to, you know, give Sony a run for their money or knock Sony out of business? No, man, that, that's not going to happen. People need to calm down. Price is going to be that important factor. So in order for that KFC console, we're not even talking about games. In order for that KFC console to be, relatively speaking, competitive against Sony or Microsoft, the price, the price needs to be reasonable. You see what I'm saying? The price needs to be where it's affordable for gamers, for console gamers. It's a console. The KFC system is a console. People are already whining and complaining about $500. Come on. Look at the specs of the KFC console and tell me if that's going to be $500. They'll be taking massive L's selling it for $500. No, the heck it ain't. It's going to have what? Um, a, a i9 processor in there, which i9s alone right now. It has an Intel iCore. What's the iCore? Intel um, Core i9 processor. That's what? Minimum $500 for, for an i9 processor, right? Then it's going to have a mini GPU from Asus. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? That's that's going to be way more. You, you, you're not factoring RAM. It said it's going to have NVMe, um, SSD, um, all of this stuff. Like, come on, realistically speaking, that, that console could be about a, a grand. So... It's not gonna. It's not gonna be a bother for Sony or Microsoft, or, or in this case, Sony with the PS5. Now, if it was five hundred dollars or less, now we and good games. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with gas. But Sony don't need to freaking worry. So I need people to stop thinking. Oh, 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 oh! Sony about to go out of business. Oh, oh! So they're gonna give Sony some trouble. Look what happened to Google Stadia. Look what happened to freaking Google Stadia. You see Stadia? <laughs> hey, 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 yo, Calvin, you, you, you see Google Stadia? Uh, uh, I don't see uh, Google Stadia. Uh... <laughs> look, man, look, we've seen a lot of companies try. You know what I'm saying? We see a lot of companies try to compete in the console space. And it just, it just don't, it, bro, look, look, look. Like I said before, we thought that it was a joke. <laughs> we thought that it was a freaking joke at first. No, they're, they're being for real. They're being for real. But the games is going to be the deciding factor. You know what I'm saying? Is it, is it going to be marketed as a PC console? And it's just going to have Steam and Epic Games and uh, the, Epic, the Epic Store and all that type of stuff. I mean, is it going to be geared towards the PC um, gamer or is it going to be geared towards console gamer? Because if you, unless they're going to have their own studios. But like I said, it comes down to the quality of the games. That's really what it really boils down to at the end of the day. So Sony is not into any sort of trouble right now. And I need people to understand that, okay? That's the, that's the deciding factor. That's the thing that is literally going to make a big difference at the end of the day. Sony has been doing this for over 20 plus years. You see what I'm saying? KFC has been in the business for years as well, but they haven't been in the console market, right? So maybe they've been doing years of research on this whole KFC console, but there's really nothing to worry about. Sony's been doing this longer in the gaming space. Longer than Microsoft, not longer than Nintendo. Nintendo are the forefathers of gaming when it comes to consoles and all of that. But Sony has been doing it longer. So Sony as a veteran, they don't need to worry. They don't need to be worried about some company coming up with a new freak. And in this case, the major selling point that I think is going to um, let people buy the KFC console is the chicken warmer. Let me see it. Let me do my own analysis. How many of you guys are going to buy the KFC console because of the chicken warmer. Is that a selling point for you guys? Is the chicken warmer going to be a selling point? Keep it real. Stop lying to me. Keep it real. Keep it a buck with your boy. How many of you got, because I'm telling that's the, that's, that's the marketing. They're going to catch you with that chicken warmer because they want you 
to buy the console and they want you to buy their fried chicken. Um, hard work with the twenty dollars. Thank you so much. It says that KFC console first exclusive, uh, exclusive revenge of the <laughs> revenge of the colonel. Look at that. See, see, look at that. Some of y'all saying heck no. Do you guys realize the marketing? Look, man, I went to college. I, I look, I did college level classes in high school. And I studied marketing. I know the gimmicky trickery. Bro, if you look at the KFC console with that tray opening up, that chicken warmer tray opening up, come on, bro. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. That's, a, that's how they're getting you guys. They're trying to get you guys into the ecosystem, the KFC ecosystem. They want you to buy their, continue to buy their chicken, okay, because it's KFC, right? So they want you to buy their chicken, buy their console, play their console and warm up the chicken while you're playing the console. I think it's a genius idea, but the games, the games has to, you can't just sell somebody on a chicken warmer. The game. <laughs> Dark, what's up, man? The games are going to speak for themselves. The games are what, drives people to buy a freaking console not some stupid chicken warmer you see what i'm saying like i mean yes that's cool and all but who's gonna buy that bro who's gonna buy that for some chicken warmer? well you can go on amazon and buy a chicken warmer yourself well you could go on amazon and buy a chicken warmer yourself well you could go on amazon and get you a deep fryer you know what i'm saying well you could go on amazon i mean there's so many mini um, chicken warmers or, or, or stuff to warm up your food. You don't need a freaking gaming console to warm up your chicken. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, 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 I appreciate KFC getting into the gaming arena. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, <laughs> I appreciate them getting into the gaming arena and tried something different. That's cool, man. That's cool. Hey, Hey, no cap. That's cool. Cause Sony need competition. Microsoft need competition. Nintendo needs competition. That's just the way it is. Um, James with the two dollars says Marlin Popeyes fed more confirmed. <laughs> All right, let me ask y'all this: Out of KFC and Popeyes, who got the better chicken? And then we're gonna move on to the next topic. <laughs> who got the better chicken? Let me, let me, let me. <laughs> Yo, who got the better chicken? Don't lie to me. Out of Popeyes and KFC, who got the better chicken? Stop lying to me. Stop wasting my time. Don't lie to me. Who got the better chicken? Out of Popeyes and KFC. Look at that. <laughs> I'm holding out for KFC. <laughs> Oh my God. Hey, I, um, Primal with the $2 says I'm holding out for a Chick-fil-A console. Look, see Popeyes. I told you guys, I told you guys Popeyes got way better taste in chicken. Maybe, maybe because of the Louisiana style, you know, um, that, you know, the, the seasoning and the spices that they put in their batter and stuff like that. And they chicken just tastes better. In my opinion, KFC, like I said, back in the day when I was a kid, oh yeah, KFC was booming back then, but now man you kidding me churches amazing they chicken is greasy as crap i mean unless you want a heart attack but popeye's chicken just just tastes way better bro it just tastes way better i'm sorry you know what i'm saying but i know some of y'all still love y'all kfc and i still got love for kfc but not like i not like i used to when i was you know much younger now if this kfc console is affordable i will get it or in general, I'll get it so I can review it on the channel. It's bad when you're an influencer because you're going to have to buy it and, you know, try it out and tell, tell you guys if it's, if it's good or not. But man, look, look, man, their batter is just better. KFC, their batter is okay, but Popeye's batter is just better. The, 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 the batter on, on that they put on that chicken and they fry it is so freaking good, bro. You see people was going crazy. People was going freaking crazy over there. Freaking, what was it? The sandwich? Y'all remember that sandwich? That Popeye's chicken sandwich? Bro. Oh, it says pulled pork. <laughs> it 
Y'all need to stop. Y'all, <laughs> yo, 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 let me tell y'all something, man. Y'all need to freaking stop, bro. Hey, let me put up back some of my stuff that I had up here. Y'all need to freaking stop. Like, seriously, y'all need to stop, bro. Y'all really need to stop. Stop stressing yourselves out and everything like that because, you know, that's one of the things that I tell people all the time. You know, you just never freaking know. You just never know. You never know what's going to happen, man. And here we are. Here we are. This is the reality. This is what we're facing right now. It says, let's the, let's the chicken war begin. <laughs> Bojangles is pretty good too as well. Bojangles is pretty good. But man, look here. Popeyes, they just got the better chicken in my opinion. Popeyes, if you're watching this, hook your boy up with some chicken. You know what I'm saying? All right, man, let me, let me stop. Let me start messing with y'all. Let's get right off into the rest of the information that we have for y'all today. Hey, man, I look, I love talking about chicken. I know, look, I know some of y'all, this is making some of y'all hungry and everything, and it's all good. So let's go ahead and talk about our next topic here, guys. We got to talk about cyberpunk once again. I mean, I know cyberpunk is a, is, is a topic that has been beaten beaten very hard like i mean it's because they're always in the news they're always giving youtubers something to talk about and this is very sad we know they lost a billion dollars we know they rushed this game out before it was even finished they gave reviewers b-roll footage um instead of their own footages so they can actually review the game they, they did the pc version before the console version we already know all of that fiasco and it's freaking ridiculous to say the least because it's like bro like all of this could have been avoided but y'all wasn't listening. Y'all wanted to do whatever y'all want to do. And so right now we're dealing with a situation where Rosen Law Firm files a class action lawsuit against CD Projekt Red. So this is two lawsuits right now. Two. Remember the first one that they said that um, they were contemplating on the lawsuit, then they actually went through with the lawsuit. Now this is a second lawsuit. So you got two class action lawsuits for falsely. Let me tell you all this. So it's one thing to lie to your consumer base, but the other part is where I think they messed up the most is lying to their investors. You lied to your investors. So now that's another freaking lawsuit. I saw this coming, bro. I saw this coming. You guys don't believe me? Let's go ahead and bleed over into it. It says, according to the lawsuit, defendants throughout the class period made false and or misleading statements and or failed to disclose uh, that Cyberpunk 2077 was virtually unplayable on current generation Xbox or PlayStation systems due to the enormous number of bugs. As a result, Sony... Uh, would remove Cyberpunk 2077 from the PlayStation Store. See, all of this stuff, all of this type of stuff. You see what I'm saying? Look at this. A class action lawsuit has already been filed. If you wish to serve as the, the lead plaintiff, it says you must move the court no longer than February 2020. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, 22nd, 2021. So this is this is freaking sad. There was one, I think there was one other lawsuit. I think that one was for like, um, them falsely, uh, you know, um, you know, leading on their investors. And then this one is the one with them misleading their consumer base. Like this is, <sighs> this is sad, man. This is, this is pretty sad. And this is something that I've been talking about for a very, very long time. And like I said, the game itself it's not like they showed it to us. And I'll, I will always go back to that from 2018. When we first saw the game, the hype was definitely real. A lot of people are enjoying the game on PC. A lot of people are having a great time. But like me personally, like I'm like, bro, look, man, quality over quantity. And they choose quantity because they wanted to get it out. They, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like you need to impress your investors. Your investors are what's keeping you in business. 
And if you if you um, throw shade at your investors, if you're not being honest and transparent to your investors, then you have nothing. You literally have nothing. You know what I'm saying? So another lawsuit up there behind. Um, now they're going up Crap Creek at this moment in time. And, you know, like I said, I can't say I, I'm sorry. I can't say I feel sorry for them because, you know what? You brought this on yourself. You brought this on yourself. And personally speaking, I don't know. If I do have a PC that's powerful enough to run this game, I might play it on PC because, like I said, the game is not terrible. Like, the story seems to be great. The characters are seems to be great. You know, the, the shooting seems to be great. Like, there's no big major problem besides the characters and the story and the side missions and the world, Night City. All of that is ambitious, but it's ruined. And you lie to your investors. So there's always a penalty for that. So I don't know. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and move on to our next topic at hand. We got to talk about these Japan, uh, these Japan um, sales, these Japanese sales and everything like that. Because Japan, I think, you know, it's a very, very interesting country when it comes to sales and everything like that. And I know a lot of people are sort of interested in sales and stuff like that. So I'll try to cover it more and more on the show and everything like that for a lot of you guys. But yeah, Japan, crazy, crazy. <laughs> I mean, people like what they like over there. And so we do have um, some sales here uh, that we're going to be going over. And this is very, very interesting. So now... This is actually coming from Famitsu, and uh, we do have some other stuff here um, as well, like some media create stuff that I wanted to kind of go over. And if you guys take a look at this, Mac, thank you so much um, for that five dollars. Says so, you telling me you don't want a chicken warming console? Man, come on, keep it a buck. Popeyes has better flavor. Yeah, that's what I said. I mean, it's cool to have it, but I mean, it's not it's not a selling point for me. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not it's not a major major selling point for me, but I, I get what some where some people are coming from um, with that. It's not a major major selling point. It says Sony Direct is live. Oh, that's great! If Sony Direct is live, make sure you guys pull up another tab so you guys can go ahead and do it. Um. So yeah. So let's look at these sales right now. Um. For uh, I think this is like basically week six. Um, of, of sales here, uh, from this is stemming from like November for PS five, but anyways, uh, for the PS five right now, sitting, it's doing, um, literally, let me look back on it again, 17,578 for that particular week. Okay. And, uh, the, the, of course this is like what launch week. So leading up to where we at right now. So from launch week leading up to where we at right now, 17,578. Okay. And then in total 241,000, you got to remember, this is a situation. Now we could see the switch, the switch did 17 million. Like that's crazy. So somehow some type of way, Nintendo is crushing it right now. I know, look at this right here. Look at this. I know Roberto Serrano, he did something as well. Um, so this is estimated hardware sales um, in Japan. So units, um, 17,578 in six weeks, okay? Now, if you look over here on the chart, it says switch 211,725 units with a total of 14,500 and 45, so Switch is definitely crushing it right now. Of course, Switch Lite, PS5, obviously because of supply constraint, that's what's going on right here because there's not really a lot of PS5s to even go around because of supply constraint, but still, PS5, this is obviously the disk drive version. Uh, you see here 15,120, 2020, 20, oh God, 15,122 units, right? And then max total 196,000 units. Um, PS5 digital, uh, 2,456 units. And then we have 45,863 units. Series X, 268 units. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Mac, for the 
two dollars says you missed the joke uh keep it a, a ball <laughs> oh my god yo back thank you so much man look the series x sold terribly 268 units let that sink in 268 units 24,499 when it's all said and done series x i mean s 107 units bro 6,520 units and of course ps4 is crushing it right now ps4 is outselling the ps5 digital you know what i'm saying like it's it's crazy people are still buying the freaking uh ps4 man like look at this xbox series i mean the xbox series s 107 one s ain't nobody buying that over there in japan 16 units 17 units on the one x that's crazy like i mean what in the freaking world it just goes to show you man if you ain't got no games bro if you ain't got no games the switch is killing it and the switch is going to continue to kill it 17 million units for that six week period 17 million units in total that's insane 3d heck the 3ds is even still selling more than the 1s and the x that's cr bro this is a disgrace this is what i'm saying like microsoft i i mean like i said microsoft never had a strong presence in japan but bro 16 units of 1s the 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 one x 17 units i mean those systems are just dead in the water but my ps4 pro y'all saw the ps4 pro sales tanked 52 units dang people just ain't buying ps4 pros anymore obviously because of ps5 but look at that base ps4 people are buying base ps4s bro but look this is a disgrace 268 units 24,000 basically 500 units when it's all said and done that is not even bro that's terrible like that that is terrible bro 286 units in six weeks bro that's not even that bro like pff, that's not even um legit oh y'all don't believe me okay look at the media create this this is this is the media create sales okay this is okay let me show you guys some of y'all saying oh this and that look media create sales week uh week 50 2020 december 7th to december 13th this is this is um media create sales week between this week the 7th to the 13th all right so some of y'all don't believe me this is media create look nintendo switch two hundred and sixty three thousand in that same week in that same week ps5 17 000 ps4 10 000 yes it's legit xbox um what's that s 375 units that thing is not selling look series x 268 units it's legit are you kidding me the xbox series s 107 unit bro that's terrible that is really terrible one s one the one s 16 unit um the 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 the, the one x 17 unit bro this is freaking crazy bro you got the 2ds selling more than the xbox one x and s bro that's freaking i'm telling you it's because of the freaking games bro it's the games that's what i'm keeping that's why i try to keep telling you guys it's the freaking games microsoft didn't launch anything you know that's substantial to gravitate people to buy series x is 268 units in the first week for that six week sales yes it's a little bit more but nothing compared to the ps5 nothing compared to nintendo nintendo for that six week period 17 million 17 million bro and you know what bleeding over into 2021 it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be a crazy year for nintendo nintendo got a lot of games that they're going to be releasing breath of the wild 2 a new metroid possibly a switch pro 
bro, Nintendo is not to be played. Microsoft cannot touch Nintendo. They haven't, they having a hard time giving Sony any type of trouble, let alone Nintendo. They can't touch Nintendo. All Nintendo got to do is drop another Pokemon, drop another Zelda, drop another, bro, they cannot touch, bro. I'm telling you, this is not good. This is not good. Right. And, and, you know, Phil Spencer, he tried very, very hard to try to win, you know, um, you know, people over there in Japan and everything like that. Try to get them excited. Like I said, the future looks bright for the Xbox brand. But as it sits right now, hopefully it can pick up, bro. Hopefully after year with with Halo coming out next year, um, with all the titles that's supposed to be dropping next year for Xbox and for Game Pass, hopefully that that skyrockets. But, bro, Nintendo is killing it. 17 million and you know one of the main reasons why the ps5 is not really higher than that higher than 200 and something thousand obviously it's because of supply constraints obviously people can't get their hands on the system but at the same time at the same token nintendo is killing it give credit where credit's due nintendo is in a league of its own let me tell you something one t flop does not have anything to do okay with the actual system all right, T flop don't mean nothing because people are still buying switches. There's certain places you go right now you can't even find a Nintendo Switch. You know what I'm saying? Let alone a PS5. I'm telling you, Nintendo and Sony, they're they're the they're the juggernauts of gaming when it comes to console gaming. Microsoft, they got a lot of work to do. You see what I'm saying? They they have the games. The games are coming. We know within the next two or three years we're gonna start to see more games crank out. But I'm telling you right now. The sales speak for themselves, bro. People speak with their wallets when it comes to games. There's so many things I can talk about with the Nintendo Switch when it comes to uh, sales and form factor and the games. Yeah, some people can argue, oh, Nintendo is for kids. Yeah, there's a lot of kids in the world, it seems like, because people can't seem to deviate from the Switch. You can turn it into a home console. You can take it out on the freaking go. They're the only ones in the market right now that's offering that brilliant marketing you can't beat it you see what i'm saying so it's just bro the main focus for microsoft right now is game pass game pass is their main focus you know what i'm saying obviously they have a lot of studios and everything like that which is cool you got a lot of studios we got avowed we got perfect dark we got halo infinite we got um fable 3 we got state of decay 3 we got forza horizon 5 we got forza motorsport 8 there's games to play there's a lot of games to freaking play they just did that deal with with um with, with bethesda there are games to play but we're uh, hellblade 2 there are games to play but we gotta wait we gotta wait another two or three more years but Nintendo is in a league of its own. It's not about T-flop. It's not about power. Nintendo have shown us that time and time again. It's not when this whole bullcrap console war stuff, talking about T-flops and all this type of stuff, it does not come down to the T-flops. It comes down to the freaking games. You see what I'm saying? It comes down to the games. And you know the reason why Microsoft does not report on hardware sales? Because they don't, they just don't, bro. They stop reporting on hardware sales since Xbox One. You see what I'm saying? They just stop reporting on sales. The only time we hear about sales on how well something is doing is either Meteor Create or is either um, Famitsu or one of those other entities. You know what I'm saying? Third party entities that are reporting on hardware sales. It ain't coming from Microsoft because they don't care. They literally don't care. You see what I'm saying? Yes, they're going to keep making hardware for the foreseeable future, but they don't care about hardware sales. They don't care if you, bro, listen to me. They don't care if you buy their system or not. Because a lot of y'all have PC. Microsoft is eating regardless. Microsoft is a multi-billion dollar company. They're going to be eating regardless. But for, as far as the Xbox brand, they got Game Pass. And you can beat Game Pass when it comes to value. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, they're not worried about how many people buying Xboxes because you can get you can sign up for Game Pass and got a PC. They're still winning. You can you can sign up for Game Pass on your freaking phone. You can sign up for Game Pass on your phone. Not on not on the Apple phone, but I'm just saying. You can sign up. They're a trillion dollar company. You think they care about you buying their freaking systems? They don't care. Microsoft is still winning. That's what I'm trying to. Yes, the sales are poor. 268 units. That's nothing. 
to smile about. That's nothing to brag about. That's terrible in the grand scheme of things. But what I'm saying to you guys is Microsoft does not care if you buy a new Xbox or not. As long as you got a Windows PC, as long as you want to play Halo Infinite, guess what? Sign your behind up with Game Pass. That's how they get you. They got you in their ecosystem. Smart marketing. It's a win-win situation. So yeah, you don't have to buy an Xbox console in order to experience Game Pass. See what they did? Smart marketing. They tap into the mobile gaming side of things because everybody got a phone, right? Everybody got a freaking phone and your phone don't have to have a crazy graphics card or crazy amount of RAM in order to run these games. These games are streamed in the cloud with their Azure um, technology, streaming technology, and it's in the cloud, Project X Cloud. That, it's a win-win situation for them. So yeah, while, while the sales might look crazy, and everything like that, come on, man. You think they care? They don't. And that's not going to be a big deal breaker for them. They're going to keep manufacturing um, Xbox consoles for gamers who really, really want it. You get what I'm saying? So, And then we're we hearing about Kanye West. Kanye West is trying to throw his hat into the freaking arena. Oh, she a gold digger. Hey, I miss it with no gold digger. <laughs> hey, Primal. With the $2 says KFC console has chicken pass. I'm telling you, if it comes with a chicken pass, count your boy in. I'm just playing psych. Um, but Kanye West, he's throwing his hat into the arena with Nintendo. He's saying that he wants to have his own freaking video game. You see what I'm saying? With Nintendo. Like I said before, you got to know, man. You got to know who to aim at because people know that Nintendo... Nintendo is in a league of their own. They don't need a help from nobody. You see what I'm saying? Nintendo is N Nintendo. They don't need no help from nobody selling their, their consoles or selling their games. Nintendo speak for themselves. You see what I'm saying? It's always been Nintendo and Sony. Nintendo and Sony. And that is the point that I'm trying to drive home, guys. So, yeah. That media creates sales. It, 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 it's, yeah, it's atrocious. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For Microsoft. But I don't know, man. Like I said before... We'll see what happens, you know what I'm saying? When once we get off into 2021, 2022 for Xbox, we'll the sales is definitely going to skyrocket from there. So we'll see. It says Kanye West offer got declined. It did. Hey, hey, you can't blame the man for trying. You can't blame the man for trying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you can't blame the man for trying. I mean, the man is trying. He's trying, guys. He's trying. You can't blame the man for trying, you know? But you know, you, you got to be smart, man. In this business of life, you got to be smart. You know what I'm saying? If you don't, if you're not smart, how are you going to stay afloat? You know what I'm saying? How are you going to stay afloat? <laughs> how are you going to feed yourself? How are you going to feed your family? You got to be smart, man. Ain't nobody handing you anything. You got to put the work in. You know what I'm saying? A A H Mads, what's good? Appreciate the love. Appreciate the support, man. We out here. All right. So let's talk about this topic. I covered this a little briefly on the channel before, and I wanted to cover it again um, because we got some new reports and I don't know how what's Vegito blue. What's up, man? I don't know how um, your, your dual sense controllers are holding up, but there are more reports coming out saying that the dual sense controllers are breaking and where they're breaking on the l2 and the r2 button the l2 and the r2 button um apparently there's a lot of reports i think the last time i covered it it was oh uh, it was a thousand reports that was actually coming in now it's well over that now so i don't know how is your dual sense controllers are holding up because there's a lot of reports uh, coming in about the R2, especially, especially the R2 button, um, because apparently something with the motor inside of the uh, the R2 button, the whole like, you know, assembly um, of, of how they constructed everything. Apparently there's something faulty in there. And some people are saying that when they're playing Miles Morales or they're playing Call of Duty 
and everything like that. They're saying that their controllers are falling apart. And so we do have another report here that we need to go over. I know some of you, uh, some people are getting drift issues. Remember with Nintendo, with the Joy-Con drift issues? So there's a lot of issues. <clears throat> Um, apparently some people are getting drift issues where the controller is just like drifting, you know, and then some people are saying that their, their, their L2 and their R2 buttons are falling apart. So all I'm saying is guys, take care of your controllers, but I'm pretty sure these people have taken care of their controllers as well. Um, so we do have another report here that we're going to be going over and let's go over here and bleed over into this it said that the ps5 dualsense controllers adaptive triggers are reportedly breaking a few days ago i was swinging around in miles morales when i felt the r2 snap oh my goodness and immediately become looser it was as if when uh whatever was causing the trigger to resist broke this is crazy man this is crazy and so the user basically said that less than 50 hours of play time, you know what I'm saying? Um, this actually happened. So I don't know, maybe there are some faulty DualSense controllers out there. There's another user out here. They were playing Demon Souls and they noticed that their R2 just abruptly started, you know, activating under the slightest touch. Um, there's, there's so many stuff going on. So it's the L2 and the R2 triggers um, that are literally messing up for a lot of people. And so, like I said before, I'm pretty sure Sony, this is obviously a manufacturer uh, defect. It's not like they take the controller and, you know, break it and stuff like that. So this is obviously a manufacturer defect. So they, Sony needs to fix this. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not right. If I spend $70 on a controller, I'm just saying, if I, I it doesn't matter if it's Nintendo, um, Microsoft, it doesn't matter whoever. If I spend $70 on a controller, and the freaking R2 button is falling apart. The L2 button is falling apart. You better fix it. You better freaking fix it. I'm just, I'm just going to keep it a buck with you guys. I'm just going to keep it real with you guys. You better fix it. Because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? People spend their money. And even with the, uh, the, the, the Joy-Con, the Joy-Con drift problems, look, the Joy-Cons are expensive, guys. You guys got to remember that. The Joy-Cons were very, very expensive. And I think they dropped the price on the Joy-Cons now. But yeah, Joy-Cons, I, I felt like they're not durable enough. I have cave hands. And bro, I feel like if, I, if you press the buttons too hard, you will break the controller. But I'm just saying, you can't defend Sony on this one. Look, it's just faulty. If people's controllers are falling apart and they're not being aggressive with it, and it's just naturally falling apart. Sony has to honor that. They have that. That's why you got a one year warranty. You feel me? That's why you got a one year warranty. Like they need to honor that. So you need to call them up and be like, yo, Sony, uh, my controller, they should be able to take care of it. You see what I'm saying? They should be able to take care of it. That's all I'm saying. So for people who want to sit there and defend Sony on this, look, if your controller faulty, it's faulty. Period. You know what I'm saying? And they need to jump on it ASAP. Um, it says Sony will fix it. Yeah, of course, of course, and that and that happens with every every new re, uh, every new release of systems. Like they're gonna fix it, regardless of of the of the situation. It says you can hit uh, join. It's next to the sub button. Yes, if you want to sponsor up, click the join button. If you're brand new to the channel, click that subscribe button. Appreciate you guys, man. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for telling them that. But yeah, uh, just let me know. I seen a YouTuber actually. Um, rip apart the actual dual sense controller and he was basically pinpointing like the actual um, problems and everything like that but hey it is what it is all right so with that being said now that we talked about the dual sense controller let's talk about the dual sense again and this time wow i'm not surprised that it won an award because this is by far the best controller hands down next to the joy con controller you know what i'm saying like literally speaking i'm not even capping i'm just gonna keep it real with you guys so yeah i knew that it was gonna get an award because the controller is amazing it really pulls you into the experience just like the joy con really pulls you into the experience and everything like that and so i really need people to keep it a buck with themselves on this one because 
it, it's it's just it's just the facts. It's just what's there. And I think Nintendo, um, not just Nintendo, but I think Sony kind of won the whole next gen thing when it comes to innovation, when it comes to their controller. That, that nobody can argue that unless you're a fanboy or something. Nobody can argue that that Sony did they thing. I mean, some people have you know their picks here and there, but at the least, I would say. Sony knock it out the park with that DualSense controller. Some people like the DualShock 4, but I feel like what the what the DualSense is actually offering you as far as, you know, how you play and and just bringing you into the experience with the haptics and the adaptive trigger and everything. And this is just a a, a a small scratch of the surface on what the controller um is able to do. And so, with that being said, let's bleed over into this. It says VGC, that's Video Game Chronicles. Innovation of the year goes to DualSense. Sony's good vibrations were arguably the only true next-gen experience in 2020. This should not be the case. Microsoft, this should not be the case. It's Microsoft. You're the king of software. You see what I'm saying? You're the biggest tech company in the world. How is it that we're still using AA batteries, the controller basically is smaller. I don't like how the Series X controller feels. It's too small for my hand. Boss Red, thank you so much for becoming a sponsor. Really do appreciate you. Make sure you go to the community tab, Boss Red, where you will find access to our private Discord as well as my PSN ID. Boss Red, add me on um, uh, uh, PSN. Okay. I'll go to the community tab. So let's get back into the, to the gist of things here. Let me go get my controller so I can show you guys because y'all thinking I'm playing when I say this and I'm just going to keep it real with y'all. Look how small it is, bro. Look, you see how small this is. This is the series X controller. Okay. I love, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't drop it, Marlon. Don't drop it. Look at this. You can definitely see, I love the, the one, the, the Xbox One controller. I think it's one of the best controllers. But bro, why would you shrink the size? Bro, why would you shrink the size? I know I'm 6'7", but why would you shrink the size, bro? Like, look, look at this. Y'all think I'm capping? Look at this. Look at this. You see how big my hand is? Bro, look, look at this, bro. Look at this, bro. I can't play like this. Look at this. Look at this. It's uncomfortable. Like, look at this. I'm literally choking the controller. I'm just saying, like, it's small, you know, compared to the Xbox One controller. So why would you shrink it? And I can look at look at the dual sense. Look at the dual sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just it's just a lot bigger in my opinion look at this see big difference you know what i'm saying big <laughs> big difference you know big freaking difference in my opinion like this baby freaking controller like look at this baby controller man you could have made the controller different bro like i don't understand what the heck they were doing like i don't freaking get it you know what i'm saying they sony did a great job making the controller bigger they made the controller bigger for a reason. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm just I'm happy with it. I'm happy. And when you when you think about the innovation, when you think about all the features of the DualSense, it's it's miles ahead. Better battery, you know, adaptive uh the, the adaptive um triggers, all of that type of stuff, man, like the haptics all of that, you know what I'm saying? All the features of the DualSense, it just outweighs the competition. It outweighs Microsoft. They went with the same form fact. I mean, nothing has changed besides the the matte the matte finish. Like you, you know, you you have a you know much more like uh, a bit. I would say you can grip the controller more. Like they did change up a few things here and there, but it just feels cheap. And then you still rocking double A batteries, whereas your competition. Some people, this is a preference for some people. Some people are like, look, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Some people say, I don't care about AA batteries. I can, I, I love batteries. Some people love batteries. Me, 
I can't be bothered to be switching out batteries. Like, like I said before, I put my controller on the charging dock and then I go from there. This is ridiculous. This is 2020. This is so 1990, 1980. What is this? The 1980, we still rocking freaking, you know how long batteries has been around? Batteries has been around since the 1980s, probably way before that. We had batteries, bro. Batteries exist for like maybe three decades, maybe four. You know what I'm saying? And we still rock in AA batteries. The control, the, don't wonder why they didn't win the award. You got to step outside the box. You see what I'm saying? It would have been different if they would have bundled it with like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like the Elite controller, the Elite 2 controller, or make an Elite 3 controller or something like that to come with the thing like, I don't like batteries, bro. I'm tired of, heck, I was dealing with batteries when I was a kid with my Game Boy Color, with my Game Boy, my original freaking game, one of the first, you know, thing gaming things that I got when I was a kid was a freaking Game Boy. Remember that joint used four freaking AA batteries. Do y'all remember that? Your Game Boy, a Game Boy used four AA batteries. So, it, bro, that was back when the Game Boy came out. How many years? Over 20 plus years ago, the Game Boy came out, right? And, and back then, I was struggling to find money to buy batteries. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. We still rocking freaking AA batteries, and this joint is mad freaking small. So, of course, it's not going to win um, Innovation uh, Controller of the Year because there's nothing innovative. You guys tell me. Tell me. Just keep it real. The Game Gear. Tell me. Tell me, keep it real with me. What is innovative about this controller? Besides this share button, that's innovative, I guess, because they put the share button in there. Okay. But besides that, some of y'all got Series X's. What's so innovative about this controller over the dual sense? No fanboy or no fanboy. Give me your give me your opinion. Let's keep it real. This is why we do these live shows. What's so innovative about this controller? Let's keep it real. Because if you're a big guy like me, this is not gonna, this is not comfortable. I, I I hate playing with the with the um with the with the Series X controller. Now, obviously, you can play with the um the the Elite controller because all the Xbox One peripherals can work on Series X. So you're not tied to this. But I'm just saying, what's innovative about this? Because this is what you marketed the console with. This is what you sell the console with. So what's so innovate? Uh the comfort. I mean. It's comfort. It's comfortable. If you if 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 you got small hands, look how big my hands are, bro. I got big hands. My hands are bigger than the average person. Like I got my hands are huge. You see what I'm saying? So I I can palm I palms this joint. Oh dang it! I turned the Series X on. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, but there's nothing innovative about it. The D pad. Don't like the D pad. I mean the D pad. Eh, it's okay. I guess it's better than this. You know, it's better than this, but there's nothing other than the D pad and the share button. There's literally nothing. There's no different. I mean, come on, man. They could have, they could have knocked it out the park. They could have did something much more, make the controller look a little bit different. You know, have some sort of, it says Xbox. Look at this. It could have said series X. I'm just saying clearly nothing has changed. So that's why they gave the award to Sony. Well deserved. It don't even say Series X. I know on Sony it don't even say PS5 or anything, but it says Sony on it. Sony could have put PS5 on there or something. I don't know. I'm just saying, but it just says Xbox. It don't even say, and then look at this, this controller, same thing. Look at this. Not a doggone thing has changed. Look at this. <laughs> look at that. It's the same thing, bro. It's the same. Look, look at where the trademark is right here. It says Xbox, right? Look here. Look here. What is that right there? Xbox. Nothing has changed. The battery, everything is the same. Nothing. Look at the, look at the back. Nothing. It's the same exact controller, just smaller with a share button and a new D pad. That's it. Everything is basically the same. It's the same controller. And well, well, and it went to what was this USB C? Um, so I mean, it's 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 just I don't know, man. I don't know. Like I said, I felt like they could have done a lot better, guys. I felt like they could have done a better job. In just my opinion, if you're asking me my my opinion, 
I felt like they could they could have done better. You know what I'm saying? Like this this joint is too small. I don't like playing with the Series X controller. I felt like, you know, dang, you you y'all could have just bundled the Elite 2. I love the Elite 2 controller. Just marginal improvements. Like seriously. So yeah, you doggone right. When you look at look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even look, I'm just keeping it real. I like keeping it real with you guys. Look at this, man. Hold on. You see the big difference? This is what I'm talking about. Hold on, hold on. Because some of y'all think I'm just making up stuff. Look at this. I know I need to dust this control off. But look, big difference. Bro, big freaking difference. I mean, you can see slight DNA of the of the DualShock 4 in the DualSense, but it's a it's a huge design difference. Look at this. Huge design difference. You can't even, bro, this is an evolution. Like, I mean, look, it's it's like a night and day difference. I love my DualShock. You know what I'm saying? But I think one of the downsides to the DualShock for me was that my thumbs was rubbing together. You know what I'm saying? This is a huge freaking difference. This is evolution. This controller right here is taking what's great and making it greater. You see what I'm saying? Great greater great greater you know what i'm saying so it's just like it's a huge difference when it comes to design and everything like that that's what that's the whole point of why i'm trying to bring this up and that's why vgc gave it to sony because it's like when it comes to the rumble when it comes to the adaptive triggers the the haptics and all of that type of stuff and it just how it just brings you into the experience Bro, that's really what it's all about at the end of the day, you know, and the curves. I mean, look at this. I, I know some people can argue that they didn't like this. PlayStation has evolved. Give credit where credit's due, whether you're a fanboy or not. You see what I'm saying? And you love PlayStation. You love their games and stuff. Give credit where credit's due. Give it where it's due because Sony did step outside the box. USB-C, you know what I'm saying? You got quick charging. The battery is a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? It feels a lot more comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Um, the build quality is good. I know some people are saying that they're having issues with the controller. And, you know, that's going to happen because it's a new console. But you can't deny that this, con th th this, this, this controller is amazing. You can deny it. You literally cannot deny it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but the curves, like I said, I, I, didn't, I didn't like this design choice, though, where this part right here is chopped off. You see how right at the bottom right here of the DualShock 4, how it's literally round, like the edge is like round. Like, I wish they would have rounded it off. But, you know, like I said, they want they want the design to be different. They don't want people to look back at the controller and be like, dang, this is basically the same thing. You can't look at the DualSense and look at the DualShock 4 and say it's the same thing. No, it's not. It's different. See, they took away this light from right here and put it in. I'm telling you, genius genius and hopefully microsoft they got time i know that you can use any xbox one controller and all of that type of stuff which is fine but hey sony is the only company right now that basically gave you a next generation experience now let me ask the chat do you agree you don't have to agree with me because it's marlin gaming nation but i'm asking you guys do you agree that playstation had the better next gen experience come up with your own award do you guys agree with me that playstation is the more innovative company when it comes to their console when it comes to next gen don't lie to me don't sugarcoat just keep it real keep it a buck even if you're an xbox boy just keep it real with me you know what i'm saying like you got to give credit where credit's due. They knock it out the park with the controller, not just with the controller, but with the system. D Sony, Sony, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Sony actually went back and did a lot of research. Actually, if you want to be honest, bro, I think Sony took some stuff out of Microsoft book when it comes to customization. You see what I'm saying? Because remember the 360 one of the greatest xbox console of all time i will always say that the xbox 360 is the best 
console that Microsoft has ever made when it comes to console gaming, the 360, and how they, how they, how it was so easy for you to customize the 360. You could customize the dashboard. Y'all remember that? You could customize the faceplate. I think Sony took a page out of Microsoft book with that and say, you know what? For the PS5, we're gonna make our you, we're gonna make our our fans be able to change the 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 the, the faceplate, the, the 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 plates off the PS5. That's brilliant. So if you're tired of looking at your PS5 being white, you can change it to any freaking color. Gray, black, pink, yellow. You know, you can do the same thing with the controller. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm talking about. Think about the gamer. Think about the user and put the user at the centerpiece of the experience. They've, they've done it with the controller. They've done it with the system. This is basically a 360 but PlayStation branding all over it. This is basically what this is. This is basically like one of the legendary systems, but from a different platform holder. Because remember with the 360, you could take the faceplate off. Man, you, if you guys go back and look at them custom Xbox 360s, like I said, the only downside to the 360 was obviously the red rings and all that type of stuff. That's Microsoft's problem. They were rushing out just so they can get ahead of Sony. And then Sony end up spanking their behinds at the end. <laughs> when it comes to sales, yeah, you sit there trying to rush. Don't do anything in a rush because you're going to mess up. So they end up spanking that behind <laughs> at the end of it and everything like that. Look, look, don't rush and do nothing. Especially, <laughs> especially when you're developing things, don't rush. Microsoft, Rush the 360. They, they were trying to hurry up, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get it out before Sony, you know what I'm saying? Because of that one year gap, but they end up getting they behind spanked by Sony in the end when it comes to sales. Who end up selling more? The PS3, you know what I'm saying? But who had the better looking games? The 360 had better looking games because it was so much more easier for developers to develop for. And I think the bottleneck for the uh for the for the for the ps3 was the cell processor because the cell processor was hard it was harder for developers to crank out games for ps3 now fast forward into ps5 bro games are so much more easier you see what i'm saying so it's basically a spiritual successor to the 360 i know it's a different company but you guys get what i'm saying there's no red ring of death there's issues here and there. I had my fair issues with my PS5, but there's no red, 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 red rings of death. And it's easy. It's easier for developers to develop for. And it's customizable. Come on, man. I'm just going to keep it real with y'all. Obviously, there are some things that Sony needs to iron out when it comes to uh, the UI. You know, it's harder for you to find certain things. There's no folders. There's a lot of different things that's going to get better over time with the system UI. And just when it comes to customizing the system, like, you know, how you want it to be, that's going to happen as well. You know what I'm saying? But yo, Sony, look, man, look, Microsoft could have done a way better job. They could have done a way better. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it real. So, <laughs> so what somebody said, 87 to 84 is not spanking. Okay. How many, how many PS... Okay, how many how much did 360 sell worldwide? Okay, let, 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 let's 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 ask Siri. Let's ask Siri. I don't even remember, it's been so long. Let's ask Siri. Siri, how many Xbox 360s were sold worldwide? Okay. So Xbox 360 was what 85 million? So 85.8 million Xbox 360s was sold, right? That's, that's, that's pretty good. That's their best-selling console of all time. Now, how many PS3s were sold worldwide? Okay, so 87.41 million. Okay, so <laughs> look, man, it's not a whole lot, but hey, a win is a win. Somebody said 90 million. Look, it's not a whole lot difference from the 360, but hey, a win is a win. 
Luis, let's go. I wish I could play Tactical Nuke. Thank you so much for becoming a sponsor. Luis, make sure you go to the community tab where you will find Luis access to our private Discord community. Brilliant community. They're going to make you feel welcome over there as well as my PSN ID. Add me on PSN Luis. Uh, we are going to be having giveaways happening next month uh, for sponsors and of course, regular subscribers as well. Thank you so much for clicking that join button and for supporting the show, man. Thank you so much, Luis. Welcome to the family. Let's go. Let's go, man. We out here. Let's go. Let's give some love and emotes um, to Luis, man. Appreciate that. I don't know who said 90 million. Uh, it ain't no 90 million, close to 90 million. Uh, but the PS3 did 87.41 million units across the world. Okay. And 35 million units in Europe. So like I said, the, the, the Xbox 360 did 85 million. So yeah, I mean, it's not a huge difference, but like I said, in the end, you got to give credit where credit's due. Sony had that, that, that late one year start and still end up. That's why I said, sometimes you can argue that it's not how you start, but it's how you finish, right? Because you can have a bad start and end up finishing on top. You can, you can win. So while it is good to have a good start, see right now, like I said, Microsoft can come back big time with the Series X. You see what I'm saying? They have the games. So right now, the Series X have a bad start right now. They don't have anything right now that's driving people to buy the system. But you just wait two, three years from now, they might give Sony a run for their money. I want them to give Sony a run for their money. You see what I'm saying? I want them to give Sony a run for their money. That's what it boils down to at the end of the day, guys. Competition. You see what I'm saying? I want I want Nintendo to keep being Nintendo, keep pumping out them first party exclusive. I want Microsoft to learn from their mistake from taking so many L's with the Xbox One and capitalize on that with the Xbox Series X. You know what I'm saying? And I think that they might catch up. I, I mean, they got another two or three more years, but I feel like it can be done. You see what I'm saying? It's not how you start, it's how you finish, bro. And I think Microsoft have the opportunity to finish strong. Thank you so much, Truth Spoken, for tipping $5, man. Really do appreciate the love, man. It goes a long way. Thank you so much for the special beam. I uh, appreciate that. Thank you so much for the $5, man. God bless. One love and God bless. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate the love. Um, and so that that that's just really what it really boils down to, guys. You know, it's just Microsoft. Uh, is <laughs> I'm not even Peter. You need to stop. I'm not even look, 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 I'm just going to keep it a buck with you guys. Microsoft, they have the potential to win. You see what I'm saying? They have the potential to win. Okay. How many, let me, let, let me take myself out of the equation. How many of you guys think that Microsoft can end up beating Sony? And what do what, like, I'm, I, this is a community question. What does Microsoft have to do in order to beat Sony? Obviously it's easy better exclusive games but with what we know so far and the games that we know that's coming microsoft have a strong chance of beating out sony i'm just saying keep it real don't be a fanboy this is a community question i'm asking y'all stop playing with my emotions and answer the question i never never say never you never know you never know like i said with all the games that microsoft got in the next two or three years, they, bro, bro, they got a better chance now. They have a better chance. Don't, look, look, stop, y'all need to stop being a fanboy. Answer the doggone question and stop playing with my freaking emotions. I said, look here, at KFC console. <laughs> look, man, y'all need to stop with this KFC madness. Hey, check it out. Like I said, 89 consoles in Japan. Y'all need to stop. I think I think that they have a better chance to give to, 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 to give Sony a run for their money. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna keep it a buck with y'all. It comes down to the games. They got Perfect Dark. They got Avowed. They got State of Decay 3. They got Halo Infinite, which we already know about Halo Infinite. Uh, we got Everwild. We got Fable. We got Forza Horizon 5. We got Forza Motorsport 8. I mean, it's so many freaking games, bro so many freaking games within the next 
two or three years, games that we probably don't even know about. So like I said before, you know, Sony needs some competition. It's been too easy for Sony. It's, it, it was it was too easy for Sony, you know what I'm saying, during the Xbox One era, you know what I'm saying, Xbox, PS4 era, but now I think they have a better chance. They're, they, they're in a better position to win, you know what I'm saying, with the catalog of studios that they have, with the catalog of, 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 of potential. You see what I'm saying? That's there. It's a lot of potential. They just got to execute. I think that's just what it is. They just got to execute, bro. But don't never say never. Don't give up on any company, bro. Don't give up on all that fake mess. Um, don't give up on any company. And, and here's another thing I need to touch up on as well with Nintendo. You already hearing this. Supposedly rumors are saying that there's supposed to be a Nintendo Switch Pro. Right? A Nintendo Switch Pro that's supposed to be coming out sometime next year. You know what I'm saying? And how, what, I mean, and then, okay, so the Switch is more powerful and it, it's already gotten insane amount of first party games for next year. How is Microsoft going to compete with that year one? How is Microsoft going to compete with that year one? See, the thing is, Microsoft, they have the games, bro, but they just not, I don't know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Like they had them older IPs that they can bring back and drive more sales. Yeah, yeah, we know everybody wants new IPs. We know the new IPs are coming, but we need something. We need those filler games, bro. We need filler games that is going to just get us excited and get us hyped. That's really what it boils down to. We already, Perfect Dark is ways out, bro. That's ways out from now. Let's keep it real. Ways out. Nintendo, I'm telling you, Nintendo... Y'all not ready for Nintendo. Mm, mm -mm. There's no info on that right now. There is no info on on when um <clears throat> you talking about the SSD. There's no info on that right now. And I think that's where a lot of people are kind of confused for the most part. But there's literally no information on that as we speak. Now, let's move on to the next topic. And this is a community question that I have for you guys. And y'all better answer this, this question, man. I ain't playing with y'all, man. Y'all better answer this question. I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. Y'all better answer this doggone question. Now, the question is, the best. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? The question is, the best PlayStation 5 game of 2020 for you. The best PlayStation 5. Whether it be third party or first party, the best PlayStation 5 game for 2020. What was that game when you pop it inside your PS5? You're like, oh my God, next gen is here. Oh my God, I'm just blown away. Question for the community. What game, third party, doesn't matter what game it is. What game, when you first got your PS5 and you pop it in there, what game blew you away? When you're like, dang, next gen is here. Like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. Uh, some of y'all saying Demon Souls. I'm going to raise my right hand right now. Demon freaking Souls, brother. Demon Souls. Miles Morales looks amazing, but that freaking Demon Souls. That Demon Souls literally let me understand that, look, this is next gen. Now we're cooking. First, we were cooking with firewood. Now we're cooking with a gas stove now. The game has changed. You know what I'm saying? Like we ain't doing no old school firehood cooking. Now we're doing, we're cooking with gas now. You know what I'm saying? Bro, Demon Souls was that game for me that really like, bro, even though that's a remake, but when I popped Demon Souls in, I was like, yo, this is, this, this is next gen. This is, this is next gen. And then when I pop in Godfall, I was like, oh my God. Those are my two games for 2020 that really kind con- and Miles Morales, of course, you know, those top three games, Miles Morales, Demon Souls and um, Godfall. You know what I'm saying? Astro Playroom is dope, but it doesn't bright plays. What's going on? It doesn't scream next gen. It's not like, oh, next gen. You know what I'm saying? Like, but Demon Souls. <laughs> Demon Souls is that game. Hey, 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 look, look, look. I know a lot of people 
is going to say, nah, not Demon Souls. But bro, if you have a OLED TV, if you got any sort of high tech TV or something like that, and you play Demon Souls, bro, that game looks incredible. Incredible. Miles Morales, incredible. You know what I'm saying? Like, Miles Morales, those two games, you got to have those games in your collection. That's what I'm saying. That could be a huge selling point for a lot of people when it comes to the system and everything like that. Lee, fitness with the $20. One loving God bless, my brother. Thank you so much for the $20. God bless your store basket. God bless your family. Appreciate you for that $20, my guy. That makes you the top stream donator for today, Lee Fitness. Lee Fitness says, what's up, Marlon? Just secured my ps5 on playstation direct hey get hype hey um it says uh feeling good much love from cali bruh let's go uh Let's go. Hey, hey, the bag is secured. Let's go, baby. We out here. Thank you so much for the 20, man. Hey, man, we lit. We lit out here, bro. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Make sure you paranoid with it. Make sure you paranoid with it, baby. Um, The sound is not working, so bear with your boy, though. Bear with your boy um astro uses the big um next gen features yeah 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 the sound is not working or else i would have gave him a tactical nuke but i'm gonna have to restart my computer after work but man my boy did his thing bro <laughs> he said bro what was that <laughs> it's the it's the paranoid dance man it's the nuke baby hey <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah man it, it's it's lit it's lit go that it, it, it's lit though it's definitely lit now we got another thing for you guys so let's talk about the ps5 2021 games sony did they thing in 2020 i'm gonna tell you all this right now sony did they thing in 2020 i know a lot of people would want more games and everything like that i get it yeah a lot of they, some, some people thought that sony should have had more launch games you know what i'm saying like something else to kind of just win people over but they did their thing in 2020 right with the ps5 with the most innovative controller and most innovative system next gen system out of the two and bleeding over into 2021 sony got a monstrous year in 2021 i'm telling you all that off the rip you know what i'm saying you guys know the title you got Kenna bridge of spirits you got uh destruction all-stars i mean we'll see how that game looks and plays you got horizon forbidden west you got god of war ragnarok you got gran turismo 7 you got ratchet and clank uh rift apart you know what i'm saying i'm probably forgetting about something else that's six right there six you got Returnal, that's seven. You know what I'm saying? That's seven exclusive games, bro. Seven exclusive games, right? Returnal is the, is the last one that I remember. Seven games, seven. You know what I'm saying? That's seven exclusive. That, that's insane. So, bro, that, that, that's, that's already going to drive a lot of sales for a lot of people. I'm going to repeat them again. You got Canna Bridge of Spirits. You got Destruction All-Stars. You got Gran Turismo 7. You got Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. You got Horizon Forbidden West. You got God of War. You got Returnal. And what else am I forgetting? Ghostwire. Is Ghostwire coming out next year? I don't know. That's time exclusive. And then you got um, Deathloop. Deathloop. That's nine. 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 You know what I'm saying? That's nine freaking titles. Right there, bro. Right freaking there. And plus whatever other surprises. Final Fantasy 16 as well. Sony going to be crushing it in 2021. Make no mistake. Hey, oh, Grand Theft Auto 5, that's time exclusive. RE Village. Oh, RE Village is third party, but I don't know if there's any time exclusive deal with Sony. Harry Potter. The Harry Potter game. That's that's about what? Nine. That's nine games. 
That's nine friggin' games. Nine. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro. And that's just what we know of. That's what we know of right now. What we don't know about, bro, imagine if Silent Hill is a thing. Imagine if SOCOM is a thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, there's so many games, so many other games that we don't know about that's going to drop next year. I'm telling you, the sales are going to skyrocket, especially when this whole COVID thing kind of dies down a little bit and, you know, sales start to skyrocket and all of that, bro. And, and, and they can meet more, they can uh, meet the demand, bro. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be a crazy year next year. Metal Gear. Oh God. If Metal Gear drops next year, bro, 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 I'm telling y'all, I'm tell, bro, I'm telling y'all, it's just a lot. Hopefully, you know, COVID dies down, you know, next year, like middle of next year or so, or early next year. And then, you know, you know, supplies actually, you know, start going back up to meet demand, bro. It's going to be an incredible year for Sony. Nonetheless, it's going to be an incredible year for Sony. Microsoft, they need more. They need more first party titles to go up against Sony for next year. The only thing that we know of right now for next year is that's juggernaut is Halo Infinite. You see what I'm saying? They got the medium. Um, I know they got like a few other titles, but I'm talking about like AAA. A lot of that stuff that I just talked about for Sony for exclusive are AAA stuff. You know what I'm saying? System sellers. That's going to be driving sales to the freaking console. That's really what it boils down to at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? And that's what gets people hype. That's what gets people excited. And that's just the nature of the beast at the end of the day. So I can't wait, guys. I literally cannot wait. I think the hype level is definitely real um, in 2021. Uh, Odd World. Yeah, Odd World. I heard about that game too as well. Like, it's a lot of games, guys. It's a lot of games. It's a lot of games t next year for Sony. It's a lot of games. You know, and I think that um, somebody said Samurai says that Forza um, 8, Warhammer, Medium Scorn, Halo Gunk, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Is Microsoft Flight Simulator? Yeah, Microsoft Flight Simulator is, um, but that's already out. That's just going to be for Xbox. The Gunk, is that a system seller? Ask yourselves that. Is Scorn a system seller? Nope. Not in my eyes. Warhammer, not a system seller. Forza Motorsport 8. Yeah, because, you, you know, there's a market for that. But those titles that you mentioned, that's not a system seller. That is not a system seller, bro. I'm just going to keep it a buck. The scoring looks interesting, but it's not for everybody. You see what I'm saying? It's not an everybody type game. You can play scoring on PC. You feel me? You can play scoring on PC. You could play um, scoring anywhere else. You don't have to buy a Series X. It's not an every... The gunk... Bro, Gunk is not a game that is going to make me buy a Series X. I've saw in the game and everything like that. The the, the Gunk is not going to get me to buy not going to get me to buy a Series X, bro. Forza Motorsport 8, yeah, that's a system seller. Warhammer, come on man, we've been playing Warhammer for years now. We've been playing Warhammer on PC. You know what I'm saying? That's not a system seller. Let's keep it a buck. Y'all want to keep it a buck? Let's keep it a buck. That's not a system seller. The Gunk? No, bro. Y'all capping. The gunk is not a system. Y'all seen the gunk. That's not a system seller. Okay? So stop playing with yourself. All right? The medium, not a, that's going to be on PS5 too. That's not a system seller. Y'all need to stop playing with y'all selves. Realize what the heck going on. Are y'all going to be buying the Series X for the gunk? Are y'all going to be buying the Series X for Warhammer when you can play that on PC? Come on, man. Keep it a buck with y'all. Forza Motorsport 8, yes, I know. You can play that on PC too as well via Game Pass. But come on, man. Like, that's not a system seller, man. You never heard of, you haven't heard of the gunk? Trust me. It's a girl going around in a world with a with a with a gun with like a vacuum. Suck it like a fake Luigi. You know what I'm saying? Like a fake Luigi mansion that's going around sucking up a bunch of gunk, mud, and all that type of stuff in her gun. That's not a system seller, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need games like Halo. That's a system seller. Forza Motorsport. That's a system. Fable. That's system seller. Hellblade 2. Even though all those games can be played on PC via Game Pass, 
Those games are system seller. The system sellers are not going to be for the next two or three years. Let's keep it a buck, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it real. You know, like those games are system seller. Hellblade 2, Avowed. You know what I'm saying? Perfect Dark. Those games are system sellers. Not this freaking Medium and Warhammer. Bro, stop. Warhammer is not a system seller, bro. You know what I'm saying? The Medium, not a system seller. You know what I'm saying? The Gunk. This this girl just going around just come on, bruh. Come on. Come on. Most of the stuff that y'all psychonox. Not a system seller. Like I said, the medium, the medium looks good. Don't get it twisted. The medium looks dope. I love what I'm seeing with the medium, but not a system seller. Cause not everybody is into that type of stuff. You need something on a much more broader scale. You know what I'm saying? You need something like a Halo, like a Fable, because people have been playing Fable for years. That's a system seller. You need Hellblade 2. That's a system seller. Elder Scrolls. That's a system seller. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need joint like a Psychonox. <laughs> That's not no system seller, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that is not. <laughs> but here's the thing. Regardless of the fact, let's let's exclude the system out the way. What's going to get people to sign up for Game Pass? Great games, right? Great exclusive games. You think the gunk is going to get somebody to subscribe to Game Pass? Heck no. You think Warhammer is going to be a game for them to sign up for Game Pass? Heck no. Come on, man. Use your eyes. Use your ears. Use your heads, man. Not going to happen. I'm just going to keep it a buck with y'all. Those games are not the medium. Come on, man. You think that's going to, you think that's a game? Maybe there's a few people that might sign up for game pass just to play the medium. It's going to be on PS five sooner or later. You know what I'm saying? That's not y'all need to come on, man. Y'all, y'all be capping. Y'all seriously capping. Like there's no way you could say, look, the, the Game Pass, look, look, what Sony, what, 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 what Microsoft is doing with Game Pass, brilliant, brilliant. I think it's brilliant. I think it's good. I think it's the Netflix of gaming. You know what I'm saying? The type of type of um, you know, uh, feature set. You know, type of model that they're going with. But you need quality games to sign people up. Some people don't believe in wardrobe full of freaking games that they're not. You only gonna play one game at a time. Yes, it's cool to pay $10, $15 a month for something, but you're only going to be playing one at a time. No cap. No freaking cap. You're only going to be playing one at a time. I know a lot of people right now that's waiting for Halo. They're not buying no Series X. They're not signing up for Game Pass until Halo comes out. And a lot of Halo sales is going to be because of Game Pass. Why spend $60 or $70 for Halo Infinite when I can just pay $10 minimum ten dollars and experience halo infinite i can pay ten dollars and play halo come on man you know what i'm saying like let's keep it real let's keep it a buck you know like that game is going to drive people to subscribe to game pass that's what i'm saying it's quality over quantity bro you know what i'm saying you can have a whole quantity of freaking games don't mean all of them are great and that's what Game Pass offers you. It offers you a lot more quantity than quality. Obviously, it's a bunch of third-party stuff that's mixed in. And then they, you have the first-party stuff. Gears 5, amazing. I love Gears 5. Let me just raise my hand on Gears 5. I'm tired of Gears, but Gears 5 was great. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like, what else do you have? You know what I'm saying? Like, the quality is not up to par like with Nintendo. Not even close. You can call, look, 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 you can call Nintendo Kitty all you want. But if you look at the quality versus what Microsoft is offering, not even close. I'm not even throwing Sony in there. You see what I'm saying? A lot of that Game Pass stuff. Yes, it's a great value for gamers who are going to be playing multiple games at a time. If you're only doing one at a time, you're wasting your time, bro. You're wasting your time because you're not going to take full advantage of what the freaking service was designed for it's designed for people to have 
massive opportunities, quantities of games that they can choose from and play. But if you're only going to be signing up for one, I mean, ten dollars just for one game, you're really not fully utilizing the, the service like how you should. Now, are you going to be saving money? Yes, you're going to be saving, you know, yourself fifty or sixty dollars, depending on how much Halo Infinite is going to be. You know what I'm saying? Depending on how much Fable and all those games are going to be in the future, you're, you're, you're going to be saving out. So yes and no. Yeah, there's some sort of value there for people who just want to play one game, but you're wasting a whole quantity full of freaking games. You see what I'm saying? So it's not for game pass is not for everybody. It's, 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 it's there for that gamer that really wants a catalog of games to play. Let's keep it real. Why do you think they offer you a bunch of freaking games? You know what I'm saying? To play and enjoy. Third party, first party. You know what I'm saying? So if you're not going to take full advantage of all those games, you're wasting your money. Man, look. I'm just going to keep it real with y'all, bro. <laughs> y'all need to... Y'all need to... Re look, you guys need to read between the lines. Microsoft? <laughs> yeah. They got a money maker, which is Game Pass, but you need quality games, which it's coming. We gotta wait two or three year, two or three uh, more years in order for us to see it. You see what I'm saying? In order for us to see the freaking games, we got to wait, and that's that's the point that I'm trying to drive home. We gotta wait. It says who? Uh, it says exactly who wants to pay seventy dollars for a game? Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Like I said, yes and no. Yes in the sense that you have that gamer out there like you know what i don't care about all these different quantities of games that they're offering i just want to play halo infinite i want to pay i want to sign up for game pass for the month for ten dollars play halo infinite for a whole month and then cancel my membership after that okay that's a win for microsoft that's also a win for that gamer as well because they just paid ten dollars to play halo infinite but what about them other features and everything that game pass has to offer that goes wasted because the consumer that literally signed up for Game Pass just for that one particular game, they feel like they won. Whereas the majority, they sign up for Game Pass because they want, you know, the continuation of first party titles coming from Microsoft. You know what I'm saying? Or they want the continuation of third party stuff as well. They want the quantity. That's great. That's the better value there because they're going to keep adding more stuff here and there. But Come on, man. So let me let me keep it real with y'all. Game of the year, based on what we know right now. Game of the year for 2021. Halo Infinite. Let's let's call it like it is. Halo Infinite versus God of War versus Horizon Forbidden West. Though I guarantee you, it's gonna be it's obviously gonna be some more games up in there like Gran Turismo 7, all of that type of stuff, but Let's keep it real. Do you think Halo Infinite is going to get Game of the Year over God of War and Horizon for Midwest? West? <laughs> Look, man. <laughs> Look, do you think that Halo Infinite is going to get Game of the Year over at Zelda Breath of the Wild 2? <laughs> no. Let's keep it real. <laughs> Let's keep it real. You think... That Halo Infinite is going to get Game of the Year over Breath of the Wild 2 or Metroid Prime 4 next year? If, it, if, if Metroid Prime 4 drops next year. I'm just saying. Not going to happen. Not, they need more. Halo is Halo at the end of the day. Not going to happen. You think, you think Halo Infinite is going to get Game of the Year over Nintendo and Sony? No. You Man, I... Look, I'm going to need for you to come back down. <laughs> I'm going to need for you to come back down to reality. Halo Infinite, while and all, they're fixing it and it looks great and phenomenal and all. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Okay? Not over God of War. Not over Horizon Forbidden West. Not over Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. Not over Metroid Prime 4. It's just not going to happen. Not over Bayonetta 3. It's not going to happen. You need more, you need more Halo Infinite type games, bro. You need more of those juggernaut titles. It's just not gonna happen. And, and 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 okay, for instance, if God of War gets delayed, okay, some people are saying that it's not gonna make it to 2021. 
for all we know from what we've been hearing, the game is far along. Okay. So let's say God of War Infinite, God of War Infinite, <laughs> God of War, you know, Ragnarok is, you know, just somehow not going to happen, you know, in 2021. Bro, look at the other games. You got Gran Turismo 7, right? You got Horizon Forbidden West. That's game of the year material. Those are just those two I'm mentioning. I'm not even throwing Ratchet and Clank in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, look, man, they need something big, bigger than Halo for 2021. You know what I'm saying? Like, they need, they need something that's going to captivate the minds and the heart and the body and soul of gamers that's going to gravitate them to Xbox. Yeah, I heard about the Coalition apparently working on something new. It comes down to the games. See, that's why you see a lot of people not talking about this whole power, power this and T-flop this and all of that type of stuff. All Sony got to do is meet that demand for God of War for end of next year. All people want to see at one of those Sony events. Boy, that's all people want to hear. That's all people want to hear. Only fire when I tell you to fire. <laughs> that's all people want to hear and, and people go go crazy god of war man look <laughs> look man look here <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yo, man, check this out, man. <laughs> yo, look, man, like I said, you know what I'm saying? The story of the day is what are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? Because Nintendo, you already know Nintendo going to bring the hammer. You know, you already know Sony going to bring the thunder. Like I said, we're not going to see major competition from microsoft until the very least 2022 and that's going to be great but <laughs> look man look resident evil 8 is going to be great but that's not an exclusive game that's third party and really what it's going to boil down to is which version of the game is going to perform good yeah godfall was great bro godfall godfall was great it really showcased what the ps5 can do um, Thanos is coming through with Halo. Bro, look, like I said before, you need something that's stronger. You need something that's going to really captivate the minds of people and really pull them in. Like I said before, all they care about is Game Pass. That's all they care about is freaking Game Pass. Game Pass, Game Pass, Game Pass. Okay, that's cool. But, again, what are you going to do that's going to blow the minds of people away? Halo, you, you need more than just Halo. You need more than just Halo. You see what I'm saying? You got to do more than Halo. If you're trying to, if you're really, 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 really. Oh, you say you wasn't able to watch. Oh, oh, it's okay, man. I know your internet was down. It's all good. Much love, though. But you got to do more than Halo. If you want to win game of the year, if you want to drive more sales year one, a Philly was good. If you want to drive more sales day one, you need something more than Halo. Because honestly, Horizon Forbidden West, it looks like a game that's really going to show you what the PS5 is capable of next year. I'm just going to keep it a buck. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, trust me, Halo Infinite is going to be a cash cow for Game Pass. How many of you guys believe that? I believe that. It don't take a blind man to see that. Halo Infinite? is going to be a cash cow for game pass because you're going to have a lot of people that's going to be like why should i spend 60 dollars on halo infinite when i can spend 10 dollars?" it's going to be a cash cow for microsoft that's going to boost their subscriber sales you see what i'm saying it's going to be a lot of people that's going to be signing up for game pass because of halo infinite you need more of those um juggernaut titles in order to drive more subscribers to game pass i'm just gonna keep it a, keep it real with you guys 
Why do you think so many people sign up for Game Pass? You know what I'm saying? It's because of not just the third party stuff, but also first party. It's going gonna, it's gonna to drive a lot of sales, a lot of sales to Game Pass. It's going to bring out a lot of subscriptions. But, bro, God of War, y'all might, man, look, look, I beat, I beat God of War, um, what's it, two, two nights ago. And when I say it's one of the greatest games I've, I've played this entire generation, I, I say arguably hands down the best game, like literally pound for pound. I know some people have mixed feelings about God of War, but it's just that system seller. It's just that game. When you hear God of War, oh God, I need to go out and buy a PlayStation because you can't get God of War anywhere else. You can't get it on PC. You know what I'm saying? Like you cannot get it on PC. Horizon Zero Dawn, yeah, that's on PC. But who knows if Horizon Forbidden West is going to be on PC. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, God of War, you can't get it nowhere else. Ratchet and Clank, you can't get it nowhere else. Xbox games, you can get. You can get it on PC. You can get it on here. But, bro, you can't get God of War anywhere else, bro. You can look all you want. <laughs> Only fire when I tell you to fire. <laughs> Oh Lord. <laughs> Yo, I don't know why that line is so funny, bro. <laughs> oh my God. But I'm just gonna keep it a buck with y'all, man. Only fire when I tell you to fire, boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, like seriously. Um, it's just that's just the nature of the beast. But like I said, I'm excited for Halo. Can't wait, can't really, really wait to see what Microsoft is going to do in 2021. But man, <laughs> you back. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> boy, this, boy, that. <laughs> uh, Return, yeah, Returnal might be good. A lot of people are bashing Returnal. Read it, boy. <laughs> Uh, and then, you know, Nintendo, Nintendo, like I said, Nintendo is in a whole league of their own, bro. Nintendo is in a whole league of their own, unstoppable. You know what I'm saying? Nintendo is unstoppable with the Switch. Who is, who is giving Nintendo any competition besides Sony? Sony is the only one, but the Switch is selling more than the PS5 right now. Obviously, because Sony can't meet demand to even have anything substantial. You know what I'm saying? Like it's freaking crazy, and that's just the that's just the truth. Uh, Returnal is a game that's um, um, being developed by Housemark. You know what I'm saying? So it's just it says, um, how do you feel about Sephiroth? Yeah, Sephiroth, the ultimate villain, bro. Yeah, Sephiroth is good. I think Sephiroth is a good 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 roster to to smash, man. And that's another cash cow for Nintendo. All Nintendo got to do is drop another smash. Which we not we which that's not gonna happen for years down the line. But I'm just saying, all they gotta do is drop another Smash, drop another Pokemon, drop another Mario Kart, drop another Zelda, drop another Metroid, and Microsoft is finished. <laughs> Microsoft is done. Those are juggernaut titles. Those are system sellers for Nintendo. Metroid, Zelda, Smash, Pokemon, Mario Kart. You're done. You're finished. Carry him out. He's well done. Man, Microsoft will be done. If it was just Nintendo and Microsoft in this race, they would not win. They wouldn't have a chance because they just don't have those type of exclusive games. You know what I'm saying? Like Nintendo is for everybody. It's not just for kids, but it's for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, look, man. And that's not even throwing Microsoft. I mean, uh, throwing Sony into the arena. Cap? How is it cap? How is what I'm saying cap? So you guys don't believe me that Nintendo have way better quality exclusives than Microsoft? Are you sitting here telling me that Microsoft is better than Nintendo? Look, man. You So you say I'm capping about Nintendo. Look, I understand people like what they like. Are you kidding me? Look. Nintendo is for everybody, not just for at one point in your life, you had a Nintendo system. Don't sit here and tell me you never had a Nintendo system a day in your life. 
Are you going to sit here and tell me that Microsoft is better than Nintendo? Look, 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 look. Who paved the ground for Microsoft with the Xbox? Nintendo. Nintendo. Nintendo is the forefathers of gaming. You see what I'm saying? They're the granddaddy of gaming, bro. Nintendo started this whole thing. Are you kidding me? Y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop talking about, oh, you're capping. How is it that I'm capping? Look, 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 look. Regardless, I know the conversation will come up. And I know some people are going to be saying, look, Nintendo is for kids. But, bro, okay, if they're only for kids, there's a lot of kids in the world, it seems like. Because you have a lot of grown folks that are buying Nintendo Switches. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, bro, Microsoft can't touch Nintendo. End of story. That's not even up for competition. That's not even up for conversation. Bro, I, I'm capping. Okay. <laughs> They're the grandfather of gaming. How is it, how is it that Microsoft is going to outdo? With what? With what games? With what games? On what grounds? On what grounds are you basing this off of? Man, you need to put the crack pipe down. I understand everybody got their opinion, but Nintendo is fire. Nintendo drop another Metroid. Do you know how many sales? Do you know how much systems they're going to sell? They drop another uh, Breath of the Wild. Drop a Breath of the Wild 2. Do you know how much sales? Y'all need to lay off that. <laughs> Bye, boy. <laughs> Yo, lay off that crack pipe. Lay off that crack pipe. Bayonetta 3, system seller. Look, man, look, look. <laughs> Lay off, look, say no to drugs. Talking about Microsoft better than Nintendo. On what grounds? On what grounds? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, <laughs> they be getting their behinds whooped all of last generation from Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo has mopped the floor with their behinds last generation pound for pound nintendo spank they behinds you know what i'm saying mop the floor with their behinds are you kidding me on what grounds what type of catalog of first party games that microsoft has put out that can compete come on bro you know what i'm saying you've been on the market with the xbox one since 2013 making a fool out of yourself Nintendo came out in 2017 with the Nintendo Switch and show you how it's done. With the form factor, you know what I'm saying? With the games, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Mop the floor with your behind. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. They go to New Dance. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Look, man. <laughs> Look, they got molly whopped. Look here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get out of here. Hey, <laughs> hey Craig. <laughs> hey, you mix the paranoid dance with the mop, bro. Uh, Craig with the five says mop him. Hey, hey. mop him up. Hey. <laughs> God, <laughs> yo, are you kidding me? We're not even talking about Sony. You know what I'm saying? Sony's a whole different ball game. We're talking about Microsoft. We're talking about Nintendo. Not even close. They mopped the floor with Microsoft's behind. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Look, pound for pound, Nintendo, bro. Nintendo. You know what I'm saying? We're not even talking about Sony. <laughs> look, man. Look. Give me, look, look, look. We know the potential of Microsoft. We will see. <laughs> <laughs> we will see you know what i'm saying we will see bruh we will see what microsoft end up doing in the next uh two or three years but as of right now they get in the floor mop with bro they're getting mopped literally they're getting sweeped by nintendo and sony right now you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, eh, 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 <laughs> look, man, look, at the end of the day, nobody, nobody can deny what Nintendo is doing. Like I said before, next year, Nintendo is going to crush it. You know, Nintendo is going to crush it. But Microsoft, like I said before, the future looks bright for Microsoft and all we could, but bro, Come on, man. If you think otherwise, then that's fine. You know, everybody, it says 15 million Game Pass subs is not getting mopped. Of course, of course not. Because it's Game Pass. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, that's all they got is Game Pass. But we need those games. How are they going to compete with Nintendo and, and PlayStation next year if they don't? They need something more than Halo. They need something more than Halo. Otherwise, prepare to get mopped. Bring out the broom. <laughs> Get mopped. You know what I'm saying? Like you need, you need those games. Otherwise, you're going to take another L. You know what I'm saying? Like you need, you need better games. You need games that's going to drive more sales. So on that note, I love y'all. Appreciate the love. Appreciate the support. Thank y'all so much for making the stream what it is and everything and look man get your mops ready get your brooms ready because we about to brush out 2020 hey, 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 hey. <laughs> love y'all be blessed be easy get hype we out of here keep it gaming one love and god bless we out of here wakanda peace